Over 300 youth at the Shikusu Boston Institution in Kakamega County will be able to acquire digital skills courtesy of a donation of computers from the Safaricom Foundation. More on this and other stories in our County News Roundup. Safaricom Foundation has donated 30 computers to Shikusa Bosto Institution in Kakamega County to facilitate digital learning for over 300 youth detained at the facility. The internet-enabled computers are aimed at enhancing the ICT literacy and research skills of the juvenile offenders as they look to reintegrate into society. You have an opportunity to study, you have an, op an opportunity to reform your behavior, you have an opportunity to go back and integrate in society. This is not a prison. This is an institution that empowers you to be better into the future. And a handbook on access to information for journalists has been launched by the Media Council of Kenya in partnership with the Commission on Administrative Justice. The publication was unveiled in Nairobi during celebrations to mark the International Day and will enhance awareness among journalists' access to information from different government organizations. Journalists need to have a guideline or a framework within which they can operate so that when they seek for information uh, from public institutions, they know from um, the manner in which they should uh, get that information. And if that information is denied, then how to ensure that through the commission, the information is released. Uh, some, uh, some institutions and some officers are threatening not to release the information. Uh, and that we've agreed with the media council that it's something that the commission is going to pick up and ensure that uh, it works. Meanwhile, sugarcane farmers in Mumias under the Kenya Sugarcane Growers Association have formally begun the legal process of being enjoined in a compensation petition involving Crossley Holdings and an expansive land. Crossley Holdings is seeking to be paid about 10.5 billion shillings as a compensation for damage of the 11-acre land, a move the farmers oppose. These communities should have a say on their land. These communities have not benefited from their land. They gave out their land for a factory to be built, and now there is no factory there. Elsewhere, residents of Ruiru, Kiambu County, are decrying the rising cases of insecurity in the region and are calling on relevant authorities to intervene. Ruiru legislator Simon Kingara, in the meantime, is urging border border operators in the region to work closely with security agents so as to stem rising crime. <laughs> Finally, a family in Musiebi village, Matayos, Busia County, has been left in shock after the sudden demise of their kin who allegedly took his own life. The body of Raymond Barasa, a class 4 pupil at St. Jude Primary School, was found hanging from the ceiling of his bedroom. Police have launched investigations into his death. Nilimnapotea <laughs>